Okay, how is your emotional intelligence? That's the ability to identify, understand, manage, and use your emotions in a positive way. It's really as important as IQ in achieving long-term success in career and relationships. And Dr. Shiloh Mergain, clinical psychologist at UW Health, is here to tell us how we can boost our own emotional intelligence. And that first thing we have to do is appreciate the purpose of emotions, right? That's right, John. Emotions really act as a barometer, and they're mm -hmm. universal across all cultures. They provide really essential and important information about what we're needing and wanting, and we can then use them to take action on our own behalf. So the key here, too, is also we have to express and not suppress those emotions, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Negative emotions, for example, mm -hmm. are often very uncomfortable. So people often try to kind of avoid them or suppress them, and what we resist persists. I use the analogy of a beach ball, mm -hmm. kind of like being like emotions. If you push that beach ball or emotions underwater, it takes a lot of energy, and it can cause a lot of stress, and we're not present. And over time, that beach ball, like those emotions, will erupt up in unpredictable ways. Yeah, there's only so long we can hold those emotions. That's a great analogy, mm -hmm. that beach ball. We can all relate to that. So you're telling us also to befriend mm -hmm. and tend and I know you have a little prop here that you'll get to yeah, on this, but definitely. tell us about that. A more effective or skillful way of dealing with emotions is to treat them like a friend who is upset. Really, the best thing we can do is just be present to offering our kindness or compassion. And I think about them as a Chinese finger trap that when we have the emotions, if we start to struggle, they get stronger mm -hmm. and they, they persist. And if we can just soften into, lean into, be compassionate, just offer our presence, very quickly they'll pass and we'll be free. So yeah, the more we struggle sometimes, the more trapped we get, right? And now the other point is coaching versus dismissing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's so condescending when people say, just relax, just relax. And that can really be harmful, right? I mean, people Absolutely. mean well. Absolutely. But, yeah. Having empathy yeah. um, really fosters good relationships, especially between parents and children. So when your child is expressing emotions, or anyone in particular, really validate versus dismiss them. Say, oh, don't think about it. Instead, mm -hmm. You can help them identify, especially with children, identify, understand, and then teach them or coach them how they can really manage effectively these emotions. Well, Shyla wrote a really great article that uh, you can read. We put a link to it. It's a UW Health article at NBC15.com under news links. It was really helpful getting ready for this interview. I know you'll get a lot out of it. And I also want to tell you that she has an event coming up. It's a Dream Bank on the Square at 615 next Thursday, June 18th. Her talk is called Keep Calm and Carry On. And that's going to give you mind-body strategies to develop the emotional mastery, focus, energy, and positive outlook necessary for success. Again, that's next Thursday, right? At 6.15, there's a link to that information about that event. Also under news and links, Dr. Shyla Mergain, great information as Thanks always. Thanks for, for, for having me. And it's never too late to really develop these emotion skills. All right, keep that in mind.